gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna be very transparent during this whole journey. Um, so I'm gonna be real with y'all. Two for bitch teeth came out. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay. Miami oh my gosh through all the trials and tribulations it took us forever to get here so we're gonna dive right into it as I told y'all I am getting my teeth done I am getting porcelain veneers so it will be bye bye braces um I've had braces for about four years now and it's just time for them to go. It's time for me to grow up. It's time for me to get out of braces. And I'm just over them. So I'm gonna pay for them now. So, um, we're gonna start off with the first thing that went wrong today. First, we were late going to the airport. Our flight was at 5.58. We were on our way damn near four, four o'clock to the airport. And I had to drop my dogs off. It was just a lot going on. Security, TSA put me through a lot. It was just every little thing you could think of just was being delayed and was just going wrong. So we had to buy a whole nother flight um, to make it because my appointment is at 10 o'clock tomorrow. So any flight that I would have had to catch would have had to been tonight or very early first thing in the morning. So we were able to catch a flight tonight. Um, and we just got to our Airbnb, so I'm about to let y'all look at it and check it out. Tomorrow I go to my actual first dentist appointment. So um, I'll go to them twice while I'm here. Um, tomorrow and then the next couple of days then I'll see them again and that's when I'll get my actual full both rows of teeth. Okay, good morning y'all. So it's the next day. Um, today is one of the big days. Um, I'm not sure what they're gonna do today but I literally just called my uber so i'm excited i tried to make it a little cute because they might take pictures of your girl and your girl always got to be a camera right so um yeah i'm excited i'm gonna literally show you guys as much as i oh 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 that was deep okay i'm gonna try to show you guys as much as the process that i can like i said i am getting porcelain I do have braces so um i'm not sure if that's included in the price but like i said i will find all of that out when i get there um and i will let you guys know as much information as i can and then when i get back to my airbnb i record more and get more into the process of everything and what's going on and what they did to me today so My braces are off. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm still nervous about everything going 
one on and the whole procedure. So um, yeah, my braces are now off. Okay y'all, I'm finally back. Um, So I was able to get my temporary teeth in today. So as I told you guys, I am getting the porcelain veneers, but today they had to put the composite ones in. And I'm not going to lie, even though these are the cheaper versions, I, I'm loving them. I'm loving them. Even though these are the cheaper versions, they look so good. Like, they honestly do. They're so white. It looks so good. Okay, so I know most of y'all are gonna to wanna to know where I went, the cost, I'm gonna go over all of that, and overall my experience, and I'm gonna let you guys know that now. So, as I said, I am in the process of getting porcelain veneers. Um, the cost, it was, they start at 9,800. So that all depends on what work you may have to get done to your teeth. Me personally, I didn't have to get anything done except for getting my gum shaved or cut, whatever. Because I've had braces for so long. I had braces for about four years. So my gums were really very, very puffy and very swollen. So they couldn't put the veneers on top of that because it wasn't gonna look right. So they had to do that i will be honest to say that was pretty painful um they did numb my mouth oh my gosh they numbed my mouth but it was just an eggy irritating feeling like the whole process because you got the big huge thing in your mouth but other than that it was really a breeze when they put these actual the composite veneers on my teeth it was a breeze so like i told you so they have different kinds of veneers um, the porcelain ones are more expensive and they do last longer and they're stain resistant. So that's the main reason why I wanted to get them because baby girl eats and I eat damn near almost anything. So I don't need my teeth to be staining like my regular OC or I wouldn't need these. So um, the composite ones, those are at 4500 but they do, it's, it's uh, they're still cute though like they're still cute but I need stain resistant that was one of the reasons why porcelain sold me so um I did not get my teeth shaved down my teeth were not shaved down and it's crazy because I honestly thought they were going to shave my teeth and I was 50 50 okay with it because I'm like okay like obviously I'm getting this done so I don't even have to deal with my damn teeth no more but I was like um like you never know like what happens so i wouldn't recommend getting your teeth shaved down but if that's what you want to do and you feel like you got to get yours by any means then you know um to each his own but my teeth were not shaved down um i did tell my doctor or dentist that i did not want big horse teeth i wanted mine almost the size of my natural teeth so Mine fit my mouth very well. It was weird when I first like was talking with them, but um, it wasn't bad at all. So in a couple of days, I will be getting my actual porcelain veneers. They will show me the um the model that they have for me and anything that I want to change if I want the color different. And I did pick the whitest shade of white because I mean, who wouldn't? but yeah so i will be back when i get my porcelains and baby my permanent smile will get into this one for the meantime she cute she cute and get into this beads like killer cosmetics period boo and we'll be back in a couple of days for you guys to see the final results. Hey 
guys, so today is, me and Kayla are about to go to the mall. So we just gonna have like a quick little mini shopping girls day. So yeah, that's about it. It is about to rain. The weather has been like real ugly in Miami. I'm so not feeling it, but yeah, we're about to go to the mall, do some little shopping, and then go get some lunch. So I will be bringing my camera along with me to vlog during the day. Hey y'all, so we just got to Aventura Mall in Miami. We are looking for shoes for Butters Gala when we get back. And we mad because we just realized we can't even be bad bitches in the mall like with these masks on and shit. Like, but these some cute bags. These are cute. These is cute. For the gala. Those are how much are these? $6.95. Y'all like this? Yes or no? But Balenciaga. I like these. They're cute. I like these. I bet. I really like them. Look. And I like how the hell is low. It looks like girl, hell yes, bitch. I could do me a little walk around. Cause I told her, I'm like, girl, you gonna be mad when I'm just standing around in one fucking spot. So yeah, we're just I decided to settle, well not settle, but go with St. Laurent. So, I'm getting rang up right now because I'm getting shoes for my class, my upcoming lace class, and my, um, my friend is having a gala in Atlanta. So, I'm gonna get ready for that. Yeah. So I just purchased my shoes. My makeup is like trash right now because of this bag. It's crazy. Thank you. My name is Sabrina. Really nice to meet you. You too. Thank you for helping me so much too. <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right. Bye. So now we're about to go get some food. See, even a clutch, bitch, a clutch will be cute. I'll probably get it. I don't know. So, cheesecake. It was this way. Yeah. So, we finally came and got what we was looking for. We just need accessories. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I didn't get a bag. So. And we're about to go to some food now. Hey y'all, so I'm back giving you guys a little update of my veneer journey. Um, it has been a full 24 hours since I had my temporary composite teeth and in the process of getting my porcelain veneers. So they are holding up pretty well, but I want to give you guys total transparency with this whole process. So as I told you guys, these are temporaries. So what I didn't know, well, the dentist told me when I was leaving that I would have to be very careful with what I eat. And um, just being careful as far as what I'm doing with them. But I didn't know that it would be like, you know, you can't eat this, you can't eat that because, you know. So I've had make certain adjustments to what I'm eating. I can't eat anything hard, anything crunchy or sticky or anything like that, like candy, taffy, chocolate, stuff like that. Because they can damage and break my temporary veneers because they are temporary. So they could break very easily. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna be very transparent on this whole journey. Um, so I'm gonna be real with y'all. Two of a bitch teeth came out. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay, so two of my temporary veneers fell the fuck out my mouth. Can you curse on YouTube? I think you gotta keep it to a minimum. Okay. So, two of my veneers, temporary veneers, have fallen out. Um, Yesterday, we went to the Cheesecake Factory while we was at the mall. 
and I was eating pasta. The, pa the pasta was very thick, like the actual noodle, it was very thick. So I was eating and like one just like came out, like it just like fell the fuck out and I was like, hold up. Let me make sure this shit ain't in the front because I'm gonna look weird as hell and I'm I'm just not, that's not gonna happen. I will go to the dentist first thing in the morning and they gonna have to fix that. So, um, it was in the back so it wasn't like really a problem but I will show you guys where, like you can see my veneers are right here and these right here are my regular teeth. So, yeah, then earlier today, I was talking just regularly on the phone with my grandmother and like, bitch, another one came out. It was like this one right here in the front and I was like, oh, hell to the no, oh, hell to the no. In the front, not the front, not the front, not the front, no. So. I was like, oh my gosh, what the fuck am I gonna do? I called the dentist like three times <clears throat> and they didn't pick up. So I'm panicking, I'm like, I cannot be walking around with no nice ass teeth. And then I got this one right there in the front. Like, no, this is not gonna work. So, me being me, I put that bitch right back on. I ain't put no glue on it or nothing. I just stuck it right back on my tooth and it didn't come off like every since. So, I will say, I, I even have to be careful with how I talk. Because any sudden like real movement, like a tooth can budge. Like it's literally just a piece of material sitting on my teeth. It doesn't look like it, but it's literally just material sitting on top of my teeth. So yeah, I'm freaking out and I just put it back on myself. So yeah, um, I haven't been able to eat certain things that I like to eat. I have to eat pretty much soft foods. Nothing that will damage, you know, my teeth. My smile until I get my permanent one. And like, you know, I don't really want to be walking around looking crazy. So, yes. Um, Saturday, I get my official smile, my porcelain. And I will get back to you guys and... Anything that we do along the journey, anything that we do out in Miami, I will be vlogging it. So, yep, stay tuned. See you guys later. Okay, like I was telling y'all in the last video, giving y'all a little bit of update of my veneers, the temporary ones. So, see, even when I was just talking, they are very fragile. Like, they could slip out of place at any minute. It is very annoying, so I'm very eager to get my porcelain today because I have not been able to eat the same way that I want to. Everything has really like changed for me. So I did have like, this one literally wants to keep coming up. But I did have some in the back come out. So I'm hoping today that I will love my model of my porcelain and ears. Um, I can't be as I right now, this one my hair is going everywhere cause I'm outside cause it's going to class. But, I'm hoping that I love my veneers as much as I love these temporary ones. But these gotta go, baby. I'm over it. I'm over it. Them. They coming out when I'm brushing my teeth. When I'm mouthwashing. It's just a lot. So, I'm happy to finally get my final results. Hopefully, there won't be any issues. And I will be right back with you guys later. Deuce. Hey, y'all. So, I'm so sorry that it's taken me so long to get to this part of um the last part of my teeth review basically so i wanted to give you guys an update on my teeth on my porcelain permanent veneers so but i wanted to wait until you know i had some time for them to grow on me to actually get used to them and stuff like that and today it makes two weeks since i got my permanent teeth in so i'm gonna let you guys see them Focus it. So y'all can see my smile. Okay. So this part, I am going to be answering questions that everybody had for me as far as the entire process. 
So, I'm going to say once again, I did have porcelain veneers. Well, I did get porcelain veneers done to my teeth. Um, I had braces before. I had my braces for about four years. So, you know, it was a big change. Something for me to get used to. And at first, I was like, oh, this is weird. Like, this is real weird. But it's like, I got used to it. And I love them. Like, why wouldn't I? Like, I love my teeth. I love my smile. I feel like I look so mature and I'm smiling way more like at first you cannot get me to smile unless I was laughing or something like that so no matter my hair I got a cute little pony on but so yeah like um we're gonna get into these questions that I asked on Instagram all right so somebody said what part of the process is painful so for me personally um, being so, like I told you guys, I've had braces for four years. So it's like, um, my gums were very swollen. I think if you could see in the past clips, you may be able to notice it. But my gums were very swollen. So they had to shave my gums down. It hurts. It hurts so bad. It hurt. It didn't hurt so bad. Okay, so they numbed my mouth when they did it. It was like a big needle and they just shot it in every piece of my gum. And I was like, wow, why am I doing this? Why would I ever do this to myself? Girl, just go get them white and something. But it was so worth it. That was the only part. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was the only part that was painful and it's because I didn't really feel the needle or I think they said it was a laser I didn't really feel it that much when they were doing my gums but afterwards it was so sensitive and then it was cold water and cold air and it's like my gums felt every piece of that so it was just it was a lot and that was only the day I got my temporaries in so ideally they had told me at first they was like ideally we would want you to come back in two weeks after your gums heal from us just um, shaving them down and I'm like baby I live in Atlanta I'm not about to be coming back out here and I want my teeth now I've been counting down for this moment too long I want my teeth now so they was like we can still do it of course it's just you know we would want your gums to heal and I'm like baby they gonna heal over time baby put them in put them in now so, so then I went back on the 17th. I got my um, my temporaries on the 10th. So I got my temporary teeth on the 10th, and then I got my permanents on the 17th. And they're so pretty. I love these way more than my temporaries because I oh my gosh, them damn temporary teeth was falling out my freaking mouth like I'm old as hell or something. I'd be gargling like with mouthwash because I had they have to give me a um. A prescribed mouthwash to use to help my gums heal and like I just feel a piece of my tooth just floating or well, the temporary tooth just floating all up in there and then like if I would eat something it was like it had me eating I could only eat soft things like I was old it was just like it was just a lot but now girl your girl gets down I get to the nitty gritty now I can eat whatever I want but I'm still uh, careful about what I eat and how I eat did they have to drill down your real teeth? So they had to prepare my teeth just a smidge, just a little bit, but my teeth are not shaved down. They're not shaved down to nubs. They don't look like shark teeth or nothing like that. They look like regular teeth. So they did have to prepare them just a little bit um, for the veneers to get spaced out correctly. So, um, but no, my teeth are not shaved down. Um, how long do they last? So, I believe porcelain veneers can last up to 15 to 20 years. Um, I do know the place that I went to. If they do, I know the temporary, like the, um, composite ones, those can chip. Porcelains can chip too, but I think you have to do, like, something big and crazy for them to chip. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm so careful with how I eat what I eat. I really eat everything. There's nothing that I have. I eat. I've been eating steak. I've been eating asparagus, crunchy type stuff, bacon. Like, I pretty much eat what I want. I just really chew it in the back of my mouth just to be on the safe side. Um, 
is that the best decision you made this year yes it is like i'm telling you this was an investment and it was so worth it because I have so much more confidence in myself like people might look at me and think I got all the confidence in the world but females y'all know if anybody we gonna look at any and every small thing about ourselves and be like uh -uh, I want to fix it my teeth was always one of those things like that's why I have braces but the braces ain't make my teeth how I wanted them I have an obsession with teeth perfect teeth at that like white nice just mm. so yeah, I was like, no, nah, I want, I need something else. I want them to be perfect. Mm, okay. Did you do research before you got them or was just like, I want my teeth done? I did a lot of research on my teeth because I wanted to make sure that it was going to be worth it. I didn't want to pay all this money and, you know, it wasn't worth it or people say like bad stuff about it and all this other stuff because a lot of people get it a lot of these instagram models and stuff like that but me personally i get things because it's what i want to do it's something for me not to look like the next person so i wanted to make sure because they could be capping on the internet and be having a whole bunch of health issues and stuff like that i wanted to make sure it wasn't going to damage my road teeth it wasn't going to give me any type of health issues down the long run or anything like that and i wasn't going to have any complications so i did a lot of research i did i watched a lot of youtube videos and everything but a lot of the youtube videos that i seen they got their teeth shaved down so i really it's crazy though because i asked my dentist i was like are y'all gonna shave my teeth down and i was going it's crazy don't i know what y'all gonna say now why would you do that i was gonna let them like if they had to i was gonna let them because i'm like well shit i'm already here like i was definitely gonna let them shave my teeth but it was a plus that they didn't because you just never know what happens you know what i mean like you just never know so it's always good to have your your real team even though i'm baby i don't give a fuck the real team baby fuck the real team they ain't looking like this all right um what's the process like do they take your real teeth out no i still have my real teeth um do you have to go back do you have to keep going back for cleanings i believe so i know i have to go back um in a couple of days actually it's been two weeks but i have to go back in a couple of days because um they have to do something to my teeth for me to be able to floss so so me, for me to be able to get in between them um do they hurt no they don't bother me at all who made you get them i already said that i have an obsession with white pretty teeth are you on a playmate pattern uh, 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 uh. i'm sorry are you on a payment plan is that an option so I was thinking about getting on a payment plan. Well, actually, um, they call it finance, getting it finance. But they put interest on top of your payment that you're paying them. So I was just like, it's adding another bill onto my other bills that I have. So I'm like, if I can make that money before I get my teeth done, I'ma just pay it flat out. And that's exactly what I did. So now I am not on a payment plan. Um, but that is an option. They do have it where you can finance, but you have to have a certain credit limit. Why did you have braces all that time and then get veneers? Um, so I, that, that answer really answers everything that you guys are asking for, bro. I really have an obsession with teeth. Like, I love pretty teeth. Like, I don't know. It's weird, but I just do. My braces, I, they covered up my natural teeth so it's like they were cool like i could still smile and be like eh. but it's like i had my braces to cover my teeth so it was like i don't know i didn't even need braces really i didn't need them i literally was only supposed to have them for a year and a half and i kept them on for four years because i was like i'm not taking them off until they the way i want them to like no mm -mm. Do they feel weird? No, they feel very regular. At first, they did feel weird. When I first got my temporary teeth, I was like, what the hell? It felt so weird. Even when I first got these, that my teeth were still, I mean, my gums were still sensitive. So it's like, um, they did feel a little weird. But now they feel like regular, like nothing. How much did I pay? So in total, 
Um, I paid $9,800, so $9,800 for my teeth. Um, and that was including them taking off my braces, my gum, gum removal, or whatever it is. Um, everything that was all included. I didn't have any cavities or nothing, so I didn't have to get like a root canal or anything like that. So yeah, in total, I paid $9,800. Um, I want to say, in total, my whole trip, I probably paid like $1,100. Eleven, twelve hundred dollars, like my whole trip. Um, did they numb you? Yes, they numb me. They numb my mouth, but it wasn't like go to sleep numb. It was just like they just put it in my gums, and after a while, I couldn't feel it as much. Did they use laughing gas? No. Okay, so that was the last question. Um, if you guys have any questions or any topics or videos that you guys want me to do, leave it in the comment section. Leave it in the comment. Call me if you need someone to talk to. Uh, call me. Let it be guaranteed. Yes, leave y'all uh, comments in the section below. Yeah. And then I will be leaving the dentist's um, name and their Instagram and stuff like that in my um little box down here with my social media and stuff so yeah and i'll see you guys next time hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i say if y'all want to do it go do it don't let nobody stop you if you got the money go ahead and do it pay it flat out don't add no extra bills on top of another do what makes you happy do what makes you love yourself more Improve yourself because at the end of the day, you're the only person that looks in that mirror and see those flaws that you see. So if you can do it, do it. Peace, love, and blessings. Bye.